This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 9. Now you try. Add a comment. The starting code provided has some comments already in it. Let's see here. And remember, a comment has two slashes in front of it. Comments are for humans. The computer skips over it when it reads the code, right? It, it acts like that line is blank, essentially, right? Comments are for us. What they are for is one, what if you forget what you're doing? I'm just kidding. Well, kind of. I do. So you can lay out your site, maybe, or your product, or your program, right? And I'll do this like heading, intro, um, level two, right? That type of thing to kind of give your code some structure that it doesn't have without that those comments. You can also, when collaborating with other people, you really do want to use comments because what if they start adding something in the middle of level two, like the dragon already, and you didn't want the dragon in level two because it's way too hard, Sam, and no one's ever going to defeat it, so it should be like a boss level, right? That's what comments do, though, all right? So comments clue people into stuff um, and notes and structure. Yeah, all right. This icon means it's part of a level larger project, changes will be saved across these levels. Cool. Insert a comment that says slash slash draw all the starfish. And just above the first call to draw starfish, the comment block is in the function tool. Show me. See how. Click finish once you've added a comment and keep adding comments as you go. Got it. All right. So where's our comment tool? There it is. There it is. Okay. Now draw starfish. What? Draw a single fish? Nope. I'm going to lose. Draw five point. Was that at the top? I already have a comment there. Insert a comment that says draw all far starfish above the first call to draw starfish. Got it. Here's a call, right? Draw background, draw starfish, right? So that's the call. That's when we're asking the computer to run that. So. And we are going to, I want to make sure I get caps exactly the same, draw all starfish, and they have a space. Oh, maybe that space was defaulted. The starfish. Okay. And keep in mind, you can add it in text mode just by doing slash, slash. But, uh, let's see this picture. <gasps> Pretty. Huh. Fancy. Awesome. Let's keep going.